Violence over calls for peace at UMass Amherst have left Jewish students concerned about their safety. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days joins us live from campus tonight after speaking with two students after what happened on Friday that led to the arrest of a fellow student. Wesley, what can you tell us? They're scared tonight, Chris and Abby. We just spoke to them three days after what was supposed to be a peaceful walk on campus just behind me here turned and ended with blows. It's honestly really scary, and I feel like I kind of have to hide the fact that I'm Jewish. What should be a proud piece of UMass senior Hallie Tesler's identity has become a constant point of concern for her. I feel like I kind of always have to have like my eyes and ears like open of when I'm just walking to class. I don't want anyone to come up to me, and the last thing I want when I'm walking to class is for someone to attack me for literally just being Jewish. Renewed concerns like Hallie's come after an incident on the Amherst campus Friday at the end of a peaceful walk put on by the UMass Halil calling for hostages held by Hamas to be released following their initial attack on Israel in October, left a Jewish student assaulted and an Israeli flag desecrated and a UMass student facing legal and academic consequences. The victim of the attack is said to be okay, but this has left students like Hallie's friend Caroline Coyle on edge. I wear a necklace that's sort of a symbol of my faith, and I feel like every time I'm on campus, I have to hide it. Local Jewish leaders like Nora Gorenstein, the CEO of the Jewish Federation of Western Massachusetts, says administrators on on university campuses need to push back on signs and acts of hate. We need to see every college campus, every college administration, every university administration condemning anti-Semitism. Everyone needs to be condemning anti-Semitism right now as a form of racism, as a form of hatred, as a form of bigotry, and None of us can afford to not stand up for, for one another right now. UMass Amherst is following Nora's call. They tell Western Mass News in a statement, quote, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, or any form of bigotry have no place in our community, and we are committed to ensuring that our community's engagement with opposing viewpoints is maintained in a respectful manner. Caroline adds there's something else students and community members can do to make sure incidents like these don't continue to happen. I think researching for themselves would help them research or educate other people and just increase our level of safety on campus. Yeah, some powerful words from both Hallie and from Caroline tonight. And we're also hearing from UMass's Halil this evening. They tell us in a statement, and I quote here, while there is no indication of any ongoing security threat, Halil will continue to maintain increased security out of an abundance of caution. And as always, we encourage students at this time to follow common sense best practices, such as walking in groups at night and not engaging in counter protest activities. I should add, Chris and Abby, something that Hallie and uh, Caroline told me this evening is that they felt uneasy going to practices and activities like the ones that were happening on Friday because incidents that happen on Friday continue to pop up and they don't want to be the target next. Reporting live in UMass, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.